Adriana La Serva. Wambu Yahari. Adriana La Serva, played by Drea Di Matteo, is a fixture on The Sopranos. We actually meet her at the very, very beginning, but not as Adriana. Don't mind him, his brain is fried. Would you let I'm not here to try to convince you that she was entirely innocent or that she never did anything wrong, because that would simply be untrue. I mean, who among us hasn't made our own fair share of mistakes? The way I see it, what made Adriana such a tragic Sopranos character was that her heart was always in the right place, or nearly always. I heard the nurse say you made number two in your pants. Ironically, later on in the series, Adriana's concerned about making a number two in her pants also. Wouldn't it be cool to own a restaurant like the Sucks? It's not all the careers. Meow. Meow. Adriana actually gets a job working at the new Vesuvio as a hostess when it opens up, and she remains in that role for another couple seasons. But as for her relationship with Christopher, that's not making much movement. He doesn't seem like he really wants to commit. Amy wanted me to give him kind of like a tour around Jersey. They did? What? If Liz could have kept Christopher out of the house here, perhaps things could have turned out differently. Just like how once Christopher walked back in that door of the Soprano home, it was almost like no turning back for him. I feel like once Christopher gets in the door here, there's no turning back for Adriana. Just go away, Christopher. I hate you. I never want to speak to you again. Calling the police. Don't be like that, Adriana. I love you. Why should I listen to you? You can dump another glass of wine in your soup and embarrass me in front of a whole restaurant. If you'll remember in the previous episode, D-Girl, Adriana was at dinner with Christopher, Tony, and Carmela, and Christopher had just cheated on her. And then when Carmela brings up weddings, Christopher's just like, fuck it. I want to marry you. Got your ring and everything. Don't listen to a maid. He's been jerking you around for three years. You're wasting your whole youth. You get hurt next time. This door is close to you. a bitch getting off of work tonight. Shh, Adriana, I think this could be it. What? He told me to look sharp and meet him at Models in half an hour. He told me to shine my shoes. Oh my god. <laughs> You're giving notice today. Though Adriana is thrilled to hear that Christopher's about to be made, it's really when the trouble starts. The FBI hits a bit of a snag in their investigation of Tony Soprano. So at the end of season three, they decide to send one of their agents in undercover to try to get to Adriana in order to get to Christopher and then Tony. And so this is where I think Christopher really messed up because he shouldn't have brought Adriana into things that were gonna then mix with his business. He's just asking for trouble. Even he admits to her that he knows the FBI are gonna find out about that place eventually. So it's just a disaster waiting to happen. And She books the bands, she runs things, she gets the music. Oh, and she takes the fall for everything that happens there. It's yours. <laughs> oh my god. How lovely that Adriana now feels that she has a friend she can really open up to. Or not. Adriana LaServa, Special Agent Dwight Harris, FBI. I believe you two have already met. She's frightened. She just found out that this girl who's supposed to be her new best friend is actually an FBI agent undercover. On the other side, there's the school of thought that says, Adriana, this isn't your first rodeo. You didn't start this life 10 minutes ago. You know exactly what your fiance does and all the people that he associates with and many of the people that you associate with, in fact, are also part of this life. You know, like Uncle Richie, etc. So, you should know if you're approached by the feds, the police, doesn't matter. Anyone with a badge, 
you keep your mouth shut. I told you shit in confidence. That had nothing to do with any of this shit. Things I never told. No. I don't think I can have kids. I can't believe I'm telling you this. Just I feel really close to you. These things can work two ways, Skin. You can find yourself getting too close. I can't believe I'm telling you this. Christopher don't even know my own mother even. Sometimes it helps to talk, huh? We're offering you a way out, Aid. A chance to save your life and Christopher's life. You say no, you'll be placed under arrest and charged with possession and intent to distribute cocaine. A charge that carries with it a penalty of up to 25 years in prison. Christopher says she couldn't do her five years, but here she's being threatened with 25 years in prison. And she's not a lawyer and certainly doesn't know the laws as it pertains to drug possession. So she would have no idea if what they're saying is legit. This is why it's so important to not say anything and talk to your lawyer, but we know that that didn't happen here. Oh Chances God. are you and Christopher will just disappear. <laughs> Tony would never let anything happen to Christopher. They're cousins, he loves him. He loved Pussy Bomb and Taro. What happened to him? He went in the witness protection program. Dwight, he went into the program? You know anything about that? No. I think we would have heard. And your Uncle Richie, I suppose he's in the program too? He is. Isn't he? I'm gonna get back. Where are you going? You're gonna be working with Agent San Severino here. Hmm. While we're at it, kindly remember what we said about interrupting to ask for things while I'm on the telephone. Okay, Mom. Hello? It's me. Hi, what's up? And you know what we were talking about? About the little creatures? Good luck with that. Oh, and speaking of little creatures, Aid has a confession to make to Christopher. A long time ago, years ago, I had a medical procedure. So what does that mean? You can't get pregnant? My doctor said it might be hard. A friend of mine gave me the name of a specialist in Manhattan. You knew you were damaged goods and you never fucking told me? How could you call me that? Speaking of damaged goods... The last few months, things have got very bad with us because of you using drugs all the time. Last week when I came home to learn that you had killed our dog, that was the final straw. Oh. You killed the dog? He sat on the wall, he was high. Over the course of the series, as Adriana continues to reluctantly communicate with the FBI, she feels like she's being ripped apart, snitching on people. And it impacts her body as well. She starts to have some GI issues. One night, movie night, at the Soprano residence, ladies movie night, when Adriana is at the precipice of an enormous crossroad. In other words, she's about to come clean to the ladies about her dealings with the FBI. But then she freaks out at the last minute and runs. So they know that something's wrong, but they don't have any idea that it has to do with the FBI. What do you gotta be stressed about? That bar? Is there anything unusual that might be giving you the gym jams? I may have to go into therapy. Plus they may put me on Prozac. In a very literal and symbolic way, Tony continues to get in the way of Adriana and Christopher? Or is it Christopher that continues to get in the way of Adriana and Christopher? Let's see how it looks on your face. Chrissy. <laughs> Perhaps you could say that Adriana is also getting in the way of Adriana and Christopher. You know who you ought to introduce me to is that friend of yours. Go. Oh. The one you brought over to the house that time. Tall, kind of blondish, brownish hair. Then yell for more pity. Mm -hmm. Well, I thought it picked up on something between her and me. Tony! Anyway, Sill's on his way. Okay. All right. I'll see you up there. 
Adriana is forced to finally come clean with Christopher after a murder takes place at Crazy Horse while Christopher's away, and she basically has no choice. Either go to jail or confess to Christopher. When Adriana comes clean to Christopher, he almost kills her, nearly chokes her to death. But then he claims to be taking her proposal into consideration, the going away into witness protection one. So it's up in the air, and then Christopher goes out to get some cigarettes. <laughs> Adriana, this is a way out for you. You have your whole life in front of you. How's your daughter? Fine. Well, mine is dead. That piece of shit. They broke up, Liz. She ran off. Oh, she doesn't call me for almost two years. My birthday, Christmas. You two always did have a very difficult relationship. When you get hurt next time, this door is close to you. Don't go, Joey! But, even after Adriana's gone, that doesn't mean everyone stops thinking of her. Christopher, for one. And also Carmella. That's for a pocket dog. Have you heard from Abe lately? No. Why would I hear from her? Would it be so surprising? She left me for some other guy. Her poor mother is so upset, she's practically delusional. She's convinced herself that Aid is dead. Look, I found Cosette. Your friend, someone needs to tell her she's dead. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. What do you think of Adriana Lacerba?